Hey guys, Michael O'Connor with serviceprofessionalsnetwork.com. I hope you're having a good day today. I wrote an article the other day um, about how to use social media content marketing for SEO. And it became um, pretty apparent that a lot of people really don't understand um, some of the basics about uh, search engine optimization and how backlinks uh, can help you uh, get better results online with your YouTube videos, with your website, and everything else. Uh, basically, the internet is a big popularity contest. The, the more friends, the more people pointing at you, the more people referring people to your website, YouTube channel, or social media pages, the more popular you will be. So what I want to talk to you a little bit about um, right now is uh, backlinking and what a backlink is. A backlink is uh, simply, it's a website link that points to your website. Um, and you know, the better the link, the better it will do for you. So like, let's say for example, you have a really high ranking uh, website like Facebook or LinkedIn that links back to your website. Well, it's gonna drive more traffic and it's also gonna be a big referral boost um, in regards to uh, domain authority, which is like how the search engines view your website. So basically the more links and the more powerful the links that are pointing back to your website, the more uh, you will succeed online. So basically the whole idea is to grab backlinks on uh, anywhere and everywhere that you can and to make them relative relevant to your content relevant to the, your users or the people that you're you know your target audience right so you know if, for example you're trying to sell social media marketing services right you want a bunch of you know, websites that talk about social media to link back to you okay my website ranks really high on thousands and thousands of terms on Google, Yahoo, Bing, and it does so because I have a lot of backlinks, I have a lot of positive referrals and social media bookmarks for Google, Yahoo, and everybody to um, you know, engage my site. Um, you also wanna get a lot of Google reviews, uh, Facebook reviews, you want people saying good things about you. So reviews, backlinks, they're really, um, you know, they come into play a lot when you're trying to be successful and make money online. So what I want to do is kind of explain to you um, some of the easiest ways to uh, get backlinks uh, or social media shares. First of all, you got to write uh, content that people want to read. It has to be helpful or it has to be entertaining. Um, and that's what I try to do with a lot of my social media stuff. Now, with the serviceprofessionalsnetwork.com, uh, I recently converted this uh, about six months ago into a social media site. And I did this because um, I can provide backlinks to my friends, business associates, and people that I network online, specifically through um, LinkedIn and Facebook. Now, um, a backlink uh, can be anywhere. You know, it can be on YouTube, for example. Go ahead and move this over here. My YouTube channel, uh, top right corner over here, you will see um, a backlink to serviceprofessionalsnetwork.com. So if you click this, it actually opens up a, a link to my website on the homepage, right? Um, YouTube is a very high ranking website. So if people click this, it sends you the right kind of traffic, okay? With Pinterest, it's another high ranking website. It's the second largest search engine in the world, right? Um, I have a backlink on my profile here too that you can click right here in your bio, right? Um, so many people have uh, Pinterest, LinkedIn, and all that, and they're not using their links the way that they should. So you should always make a link on all your different social media profiles, including Pinterest that link back to your website. It takes a second to click through, make sure that they're actually working, loading up on your site. These powerful backlinks, whether people click them or not, they're telling Google, they're telling Yahoo and Bing that you are awesome and that people like you. The more people that follow you on Pinterest and their monthly, more monthly viewers that you have on your profile, the better this backlink will do for you. So you wanna be active on all these different social media platforms and you wanna make sure that you're linking back to your websites in all the right spots. Instagram, I can't tell you how many people are doing Instagram incorrectly. Um, when you do a post on Instagram, your links that you put down into your image descriptions are not gonna be live links. However, you know, you can definitely have a live link right there in your bio. Um, and if you don't have a link to your website, your blog, your other social media pages, or your YouTube channel and uh, Instagram, you're kind of failing at life. You know, I mean, hate to be blunt about it. Same thing goes with your um, Instagram and, and your um, LinkedIn. LinkedIn, I can't tell you how many people 
uh, are doing LinkedIn completely incorrectly uh, in regards to having a big blue photo right above your thing. Now, this isn't a backlink, but this is like the most wasted space I've ever seen in my life. So many people just have the blue plain photo. You should always, always, always have your links um, in your website domains uh, where people can see them. Now on LinkedIn, you can actually get quite a few backlinks directly from your profile. So if you click on the see contact info, I have website uh, links to my FYI pages, which is another great website to get links off. And then I have two different links back to my website. I have one to my SPN profile and one to my SPN homepage. These are very powerful links that do a really good job on, um, you know, providing traffic and uh, you know, social media bookmarks to you that are gonna you know, help you and score big on Google, whether people click them or not. Now, in my actual social media profile on LinkedIn, you will not see live links here, okay, when it's on a desktop version. But when you're using mobile on LinkedIn, all these links become live links and people can you know, click directly to my YouTube channels, my website, or anything right from their phone. Also, a lot of people don't realize that if you edit your LinkedIn profile, you can put live links and images uh, right here at the bottom. So if you click on any of these links, they'll go right to those pages if you click, double click onto the view. It just goes right there. Uh, I actually get a lot of traffic from my LinkedIn link this way. Not only that, but um, I get a lot of social media boost just simply by having my LinkedIn set up correctly. And so a lot of things that people are doing incorrectly is just not dropping their links here. Now, if you see, I don't write a whole hell of a lot in my LinkedIn description, but I have links to everywhere because really LinkedIn doesn't make me any money if people are viewing my profile. What will make me money is if people go to my website, they make a profile, they view my YouTube videos and, and things like that. So you, you always want to put it in order of importance. That's why I have my website at the top and then I have my YouTube channels down below, right? FYI is a great website, FYI.to. Um, you can make an account on there for free and I get thousands and thousands and thousands of backlinks to my social media pages and to my website through FY.PO. So, you know, um, it takes a second to go ahead and build one of these uh, smart lists is what they call them. You know, it means real simple guys. You just log in, you make a FY account. Um, it's free to sign up. You can just claim a username, you know, and put some thought into your username in regards to your branding or what it is you're trying to rank for. I literally have thousands of accounts on FY.TO because there's a lot of value in there, especially with the backlinks and the traffic. You can get backlinks from your Twitter um, bio as well. Um, I get about anywhere from 20 to 60 people a day from my Twitter. You can share all kinds of tweets. Now, if you share a tweet with a link in it, okay, that's a live backlink and so is the link in my bio. Right? So you always wanna make sure you have links in your social media bios, guys. If you don't have those, you're just asleep at the wheel. These are like the best links that you can have. When people click this, and I gotta make sure I, I update that to an HTTPS, uh, so that way I can show people it's just secure, right? So it's gonna take a little bit longer to load because I'm on HTTPS and not HTTP, but it still loads, it still counts as a backlink. So this is some of the best traffic you can get, whether it's on LinkedIn, Twitter, or even your Facebook. Now, in your Facebook profile, so many people are not doing this correctly. In your intro on the side of your profile, you should be able to get a live link to your website, your blog, or whatever. Now, I do not personally have um, a lot of links on my um, Facebook page, and the reason being is because I don't want to distract people. I want them to go to my website. But if you wanted to, and I've done this before, you can put just an ungodly amount of links down here. You can add all your social media links just by editing your profile. So if you wanted to, you can you link your Instagram, you can link your uh, LinkedIn, your YouTube, or whatever, directly to your Facebook page. Like I said, I keep it simple. I really only care about people going to my website and creating a free account, so that's why that link is there, right? Facebook is the highest ranking site online. It's like a domain authority of 100, which means on a scale of one to 100, it's the best. You can't get any better than a backlink or traffic directly from Facebook. Not only that, but there's billions and billions. I mean, everybody you know is on Facebook, right? So um, you guys gotta get on all these different social media um, websites. Tumblr um, doesn't provide um, a live link in the social media profile, but you should always, always try your best to share as many links as you can to your Tumblr audience because Tumblr, I believe, has 
a domain authority of a 96 or a 97. It goes up and down a little bit, but it really it, it ranks just below Facebook in regards to domain authority. The more um, websites that you have with a high domain authority that are pointing back to you, the higher your domain and page authority will be on your website. So basically, I'm telling Google that I am a good business and that please refer me. Now, if people like, share, re reshare uh, your links, whether it's on Tumblr, Facebook, or whatever, you're gonna get more bang for your buck. Anywhere that you can put your name, address, phone number, and website is, you know, especially if it's free, is something you should do. My buddy Ira Bowman has uh, projecthelpyougrow.com. It's a website designed to help people get jobs. I don't need a job. I'm an internet marketer. I make money working from home, working from the beach, or working from anywhere else. So why would I want to be on a job site? Well, because I can get a nice, healthy backlink directly to my website uh, and to my social media pages. Personally, I don't care if anyone ever goes to my project, uh, you know, helpyougrow.com, you know, profile and clicks this link. Because whether they click it or not, it's providing me value. It takes like a, literally a minute to go to any of these websites, to create a, a profile. You can literally copy and paste all the links. You can copy your biography. You can copy all your current stuff and put in all these different websites, right? So the bottom line is anywhere that you can put your link, your name, your address, your phone number, um, and your website information, you should. And if you notice, I also have on my cover photo, um, on Facebook has the same cover photo that I have on LinkedIn. So many people are trying to make money online, but they're not doing a really good job of letting their friends, family, and everybody else know what it is that you're doing. Now granted, I'm probably a little bit more obnoxious than a lot of people should be with my website, but at the same time, I have goals, you know, and I'm trying to get better, trying to improve what it is that I'm doing. Now, guys, Anywhere you can put your name, address, phone number, and website, I cannot say this enough. Make sure that you do it, right? Because it doesn't make any sense not to. If you're trying to get more subscribers on YouTube, more subscribers or followers on you know, Instagram or any other website, you should definitely have your link everywhere. Um, I'm a fat 40 year old dude with uh, you know, no cleavage, and uh, I have 1,700 followers on Instagram despite little effort. Uh, mainly because I let people know where I'm at. I let people know that I'm a win-win networker and marketer, which basically means that if you share my content or engage on my content, I'm probably going to come back and engage on your content. I don't tend to share things that suck because it you know hurts my brand. But you know if you're sharing my link somewhere, I'm probably going to figure out a way to share your link and help you drive traffic back to your website. That's the whole idea of working together with your friends online, guys is that you want views to your stuff. You want views to your website. I use Pinterest a lot to drive traffic to my website. It's part of the reason why I go from anywhere from 300,000 monthly viewers to over a million, depending on how much activity I'm doing on that search engine, right? But it's probably one of the best ways to drive traffic to your website is through Pinterest because, you know, it means literally two clicks, and you know, no matter what image you're clicking, it goes right to your website. So if you're not using Pinterest, to drive traffic to your website, I really don't know what to tell you. You know, you can use Pinterest for YouTube, you can use it for your Instagram. Um, you know, you can also go to if this then that, um, which is IFTT. I'm a big fan of widgets. I'm a big fan of doing things automated. Um, it, it takes a second, guys. If you look at my applets, which are like widgets, it's a little bit of code, right? You can see that. I automatically do things. So if I, you know, share something on YouTube, if I share something on Pinterest, it automatically goes to Twitter, it automatically goes to Tumblr, it automatically does all kinds of different things. So I have PTT.com, it's free. It's a great way to sign up uh, and to, you know, make things automated on your website, you know, so that way you don't have to jack around so much on different things. Um, Anyway, guys, you know, the technology is out there. You know, the, the way to increase your business and, and to get backlinks is out there. If you use the serviceprofessionalsnetwork.com website um, to, you know, get traffic and all this other stuff too, um, it's free to do. Uh, my profile is, you know, set up pretty well. I have links to my website on my website. But if you go down here, I have links to Amazon. I have links to You Are the Future Charity, which is an organization that I help represent and raise money for different people. Um, basically, 
anywhere you can put a link to your website, a link to your social media pages, you should. Now, on the serviceprofessionalsnetwork.com, I give everybody the ability to add your Facebook, your LinkedIn, your Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter, all that right there on your website and your profile. It's free to use my website. It's free to drop your links. It's free to add a description right there in your profile. All these links drive traffic. Also, on my website, you, you can right there on the right sidebar, you always see the most five active people. You also see the newest members and you'll see the most popular um, members uh, over here on the right side. The more active you are on my website, the more people are gonna click your picture and your image. There are people that literally get thousands and thousands of free views onto their SPN profile every month simply because of all the traffic that I get from all these different keyword terms. Part of the reason why I do so much of these Amazon blogs is not necessarily just the, you know, sell the automatic pot store, which is actually one of my best sellers, um, but it's to just uh, get more traffic to my social media pages to benefit my friends. So whether people come to my website to buy these pots and pans or pot stirrers or whatever else I'm selling on here, it doesn't really matter to me. Um, I mean, obviously I, I like it when people buy things for me and help me out, but really what I'm trying to do more so than anything is to help people get social media traffic for free. Now, if you want to get some traffic um, from my website, your website, to your YouTube videos or whatever, uh, it's really simple to do. All you do is you make an account on my site, right? You go to social media activity, which is the fourth tab down on the bottom, or if you go to the home page, it's all over the home page, guys. The last five um, you know, things of activity are on the home page at all times. So if you scroll down, I get the activity feed right here now on the on the front of the website. And you can just post or add whatever the hell it is that you want to do, right? So let's say I want to share a YouTube video. About whatever. Now I didn't take time to see what that was I was clicking or staring. But my point is when you um you know want to share something on my website, you write a little brief one-line description. You can put it here, uh, the link directly in there, but I really don't suggest that. What you want to do is use this middle icon right here, drop your URL, hit preview. Now, once you see the preview, right, and you wrote your little description, you just go down here and you hit add video. Give it a second, boom. Now you got a backlink to your YouTube video. You can do the same thing um, using this link for your social media pages, this link for images. You can also just drop the link in here. Uh, if you drop your YouTube link directly in the white box, it will not leave you a preview. But if you want people to actually watch your YouTube videos directly from my site, uh, I suggest that you use this little middle icon, put it in there, and then click uh, preview and then add video. Because it works, guys. YouTube videos, um, really, you need to get a lot of likes. You need to get a lot of backlinks. You need to get stuff pointed back to your YouTube videos within the first 24 to 48 hours. The more links uh, you have and the more likes you have in the first 24 to 48 hours on YouTube, the more you're going to kick ass on YouTube. Same thing with like anything else. If you're not dropping links to your websites, to your social media pages, or your YouTube channel, you're just not going to optimize and make as much money as you can. Well guys, uh, I hope that makes some sense to you. I hope uh, it kind of explains to you a little bit about why I do so much of the posting, the, the cross sharing that I do. All your social media pages, all your websites, all your YouTube channels, all that shit should work together. And if you don't have it optimized, if you're not setting things up correctly, you're just not gonna make as much money as you can. So I hope this video helps you a little bit. Um, I hope it doesn't take too much of your time and you see the value, not only in what I'm telling you, but in actually joining the serviceprofessionalsnetwork.com website. It's free. If you're selling anything on Amazon, if you're trying to get more views to your YouTube, if you're trying to do anything, you should be on my website and you should be dropping and sharing your links. It's totally encouraged. Um, I have like 315, 330 subscribers on YouTube. It's not a, a large number. It's not something that I've focused on. But I get about 30,000 minutes of watch video every month. Uh, and I beat people that have, you know, anywhere from 3,000 to half a million subscribers of my total videos watched. And the reason being is because I literally 
put my links to my videos everywhere that I can. I have over a hundred different sites that I have social media profiles on and that I share things. There's literally thousands and thousands of websites that uh, provide you an opportunity to get backlinks to your um, pages, you know, whether, you know, it's Facebook, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Twitter, Tumblr, you know, everyone thinks about those, but what they don't think about is like the smaller websites like serviceprofessionalsnetwork.com, fy.po, uh, projecthelpyourgrow.com. There's literally 15,000 of them. A big part of the reason why I'm able to beat LinkedIn, Facebook, and Amazon on some of their own search terms that they should be kicking my ass on is because I put more links to those pages than they do. Um, my domain authority on the searchprofessionalsnetwork.com is anywhere from 55 to 60, uh, depending on what day you search and whether or not you're using AREFs, SEMrush, or whatever to gauge it, right? Bottom line, on a scale of 1 to 100, most websites they have a domain authority of 12 or less. And the reason being is because the people that own those websites, they're not getting enough backlinks to their websites. They're not showing Google that they're valid businesses doing the right things to make themselves money. So bottom line is uh, the internet is like a big popularity contest and a race. The faster you go and the more people cheering you on, the more money you will make. So take the time to make some social media profiles Make sure that you're writing the right descriptions. Make sure that you have links pointing back to the things that make you money or build your brand. Anyway, guys, thank you for your time. I hope you have a great day.